This is AP Calculus AB integration by change of variable, otherwise known as U substitution. So here's our first example. And what I'd like you to do is, if you don't mind, take a second to start with, with this rule here. And this is the uh, anti differentiation of a composite function theorem here. It just follows through. And uh, I guess I'm trying to tell you is that I'm going to be coming back to this the whole time here. So when I'm looking at this thing right here, it really looks a mess. So what you have to look for here is patterns. And what I'm trying to figure out is, is this 2x right here, right? This is the derivative of something. Is this 2x right here the derivative of the inside, right? So I'm trying to figure out, do I have f prime at g of x times g prime at x? Is this this piece? So I think that it is. I think that this is the function. So this is this is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to using u substitution. I'm just going to say, you know what? Let u equal x squared minus five. And from there, I'm just going to take du dx. Du dx here is equal to two x. All right. And then I'm just going to go ahead and solve this thing out. And if I solve this thing out, what I want to do is this. This is where I'm going with this. As I started to do this work, I ended up with this. I ended up with this. I'm just rewriting this. U to the fourth. Because I said here that U is x squared minus 5. So U is that piece right there, isn't it? So here's my U to the fourth, right? But that leaves me with this 2x here. 2x dx. Right? So look, if I multiply both sides here... If I multiply both sides here by dx, I'm just going to multiply this whole thing by dx, then I'll get that du is equal to 2x dx. Isn't that right? It's 2x dx. Right? And from there, say, look at this a sec. This is the replacement piece I'm gathering right here, I'm saying this. du is this thing, this 2 x dx. And here's that 2x dx. All the rest of this function is in, the, is in terms of u, but not this part. But now I'm going to say du is that. So now the whole function is in terms of u. If you look at it, we have u to the fourth times du. Because du, of course, is that. Let's go over here for a second. It says here that, it, that if we have f of u du, it's the same as big F of u plus C. So here I can just integrate this thing now, right? I can integrate this and I can, right, I'll integrate this. I'll get u to the fifth over five plus C, right? So maybe this is making some sense to you, but go back and remember, you guys, that we said that this is true. We said that u is this. So I'm going to resubstitute right here. I'm going to resubstitute this piece right here. And as I resubstitute it, look what I get. I get minus 5. And what I'd say to you now is that if you go back here now and you differentiate this, you'll get back to the original function. So here's our answer. So I hope this is, this is really helpful. This is going to really pay off for you. I swear it is. You just kind of have to trust in it. You kind of have to find your way. I tell everybody this is a really a light switch skill. That is to say, you just don't understand it at all, and then all of a sudden, under a clear blue sky, you get complete understanding. So please be patient with it, remembering that we have to start from here. Okay?